Maraba friends, detailed step-by-step -step walkthrough of installing the official Microsoft bits of Windows subsystem for Android for Windows 11, which will not only allow you to access the Amazon App Store, it will allow you to play awesome games like this How and cool much more. Is that? Okay. So as with all things Microsoft, there are a couple of ceremonies to be performed. The first ceremony is that you must ensure that you're using the latest version of Windows 11. If in doubt, then hit Windows and X and go to settings, click on the Windows update and click on check for updates and ensure that you do not have any pending updates. Ideally, you should be in this state which says you are up to date. That's it. If you are using this, then we are good to go. Next up, the next ceremony that we need to perform is we need to ensure that our Microsoft Store is updated to the latest bits. So if you fire up Microsoft Store and you go on the top there and click on App Settings, there is an official version number. I don't remember, but if you have any version number less than this, what I'm showing you, if in doubt, again, go back to the home, click on Library and click on Get Updates. This will not only install, update all and any apps that you have, it will also update the Microsoft Store. So ideally, you should be having a tick mark which says all your games and apps are up to date. Okay, next up, the third ceremony is that we need to check for Windows features and we need to ensure that virtual machine platform is turned on. I have already installed it. If you do not have it, please check that and click on OK. It will install the Windows machine platform it will reboot and you will be back on this screen and we are ready. So I assume you have completed all three ceremonies. Now if we fire up the Microsoft Store, we are going to search for an app called Amazon App Store. If we search, we will find that it is not available in our store because it has been released in only some countries including United States. So the optional fourth ceremony is that if you are outside of the United States, you need to go to time and language, check on region and change whatever re region you are in to the United States. So if we browse all the way down, we find United States and this is our fourth optional ceremony which we have completed. Now again, if we go back to the Microsoft Store and search for Amazon App Store, then hopefully we should be able to find it. And you see on the drop down there, yeah, lo and behold, we have Amazon App Store. But why do we need to install Amazon App Store? And once you click on install, then if you do not have it signed in, it will ask you to create an account or sign in if you do not. And this account can be separate from your Windows account. So I created an account and I signed it, but I did not use it to sign it for Windows. But again, now we have it signed in and we had says get your PC ready for the Amazon App Store. And it says the Amazon App Store only works on Windows subsystem for Android. So by in installing the Amazon App Store, it will by default install the Windows subsystem for Android from Microsoft, which is like the official bits, as I said early on in the video. And there's a TM there, which says trademark. So you do not have to install from some script or RD guard store. Okay, and some no magic script. I don't know, I don't even remember the names correctly. And so once you fire it up, it disappears for me. But then if you fire it up again, you see it has Amazon App Store as a native app on your Windows menu. So we will let this in, we will let this uh, come up. And if you're watching this video till here, I think you should click uh, smash that like button. Just help me guys a little bit. Okay. Free for you, little help for me. All right. So now that the Amazon App Store is installed, you could go into the Amazon App Store and install any app from there. But I'm going to show you how we can side load apps. Amazon App Store is good too, but we, if we want, we can side load apps. So if we search for Windows subsystem for Android in our App Store, and there it is, modified minutes ago, if we click on open, again, it'll open the Amazon App Store. I don't know why, but Microsoft, guys, please, do something about it. I was expecting Android, uh, Windows Substitute for Android to open up. But if you browse all the way down on your Windows menu, we see there and hopefully this time 
Yeah, we have opened Windows subsystem for Android settings. Now, there are some things that I need to show you and you need to change. You can change from system resources to as needed or continuous, but I will keep it as as needed. This is very important, graphics and performance. You see GPU, it is currently using my inbuilt graphics. When you see there, it detected my latest and greatest Nvidia card. But before that, we are going to turn on developer mode because it will allow us to sideload apps. Going back, okay, and checking on compatibility, that is the only app that is installed right now. Click on about, it looks good. Going back to system, we are going to change from our inbuilt Intel graphics to our latest and greatest NVIDIA graphics. I mean, if so if you have dual GPU, you're in for a treat. And what you need to do is to first shut it down so that the next time it starts up, it will pick up your, N your NVIDIA or AMD, probably it will work too. So how do we verify that? Now, if we start up the Amazon App Store, it will, again, it says, see the guys, starting Windows subsystem for Android. So it has started Windows subsystem for Android and we will wait for it to load correctly. And we are now going to verify whether the Windows subsystem for Android is using my NVIDIA card. So how do we check that? We go to the NVIDIA control panel and click on edit, oh sorry, desktop, display GPU activity. And if we see, you see it's colored there. And if you look all the way to the top left, it says NVIDIA GPU activity two programs. I mean, I don't know why it shows on the left, my system, but, but we are sure now it's moving, it's, it's running on the NVIDIA card. So we're gonna have better performance. Okay, this is awesomeness, okay. So now I am going to show you a tool that will allow you to sideload apps and it is going to integrate with Windows, which is WSA tools. Yes, there are other tools also that can do that same thing. It will install the APK. You can try it out. But for me, this looks good, APK installer. But for me, I think I will get the WSA tools. And if you read their description, WSA tools is not an official Microsoft app. It is not related to them in any way. It's also not related to Amazon and Google either by Simone Franco. Amazing guy. <laughs> Amazing app too. All right, so if we click on open, it says, welcome to WSA tools, and it can help you install Android apps from APK files. It can also back up and restore WSA or Windows subsystem for Android installation. So if we go and check settings, there are different settings which we do not need to care right now. So let's go back there. And as soon as you click on install an APK, it says, the Android debug bridge, which is needed for WSA tools to work, it is missing. So we need to click on install to download it. And once it is downloaded, it will ask us to save it in a folder someplace. And we make need to show, <laughs> wow, we, we, we need to make sure that we do not delete or move it so that we do not have to repeat this step. So I'm going to save it in my C drive in a folder called WSA platform tools very imaginatively and I'm going to say click install ADB here okay I don't know okay and and soon as I say it says fine it says okay give, give me an APK to install now to download that APK we are going to browse to a site which is called Aurora OSS which is an open source software inspired by you built for the community so let's download the stable bits of Aurora store. And it is almost like an open source uh, store from where you can download different APKs. Yes, amazing stuff here. I mean, I'm surprised. Okay, so clicking on the APK directly, this, the WSA tools will pick it up and ask whether you want to install it. This is the first way. The second way is if you fire up your Windows uh, menu, you'll find WSA tools from there and click on open and then click and install an APK from here and browse to the place where you have downloaded the Aurora store APK, click on it and click on install. Now it says connecting to the Windows subsystem for Android. Why is it connecting? Through the Android debug bridge. Remember, it is side, side loading this app and it has installed the app correctly. How cool is that? And if you click on open the app, you will be greeted with this screen where we will have to go click on some buttons to 
in uh, configure it. So we have read the terms of service, click on accept and click on next. In this screen, you can choose whatever <laughs> you need according to your preferences. We have native installer, root installer, session installer, Aurora service, AM installer. But for our needs, and I have seen that session installer works best. Why? It will create a new session every time you fire up this app. Otherwise, the installer will keep running in the background. So we'll go with the system theme and we'll select the accent, which whatever we have. And in this screen, we need to provide three permissions where we'll allow the store to access our drive. We'll allow ac access to the files. So click on the Aurora store there and click on the button to toggle it to grant access. And third is of the in uninstall the unknown apps from here. So let's click on it and we have installed, we have granted all the permissions and let's log in using Google Anonymous. You can use this login using Google or Anonymous Insecure. Anonymous works fine for me. So it requested a new session, verified it and started. And just see guys, I mean, how cool is this, Yaga? I mean, I mean, you are running Android on Windows through the official Microsoft Wix, and you have an app store in front of you where you've got tons of like gazillions and trillions of, oh no, I don't know. I mean, just see what you want and just install it. But for me, I am a simple man, so I have not done farming for a long time. So I think I want to do some farming. Okay, I mean, so just imagine, I mean, this is Android 12 guys, and I've seen, I mean, I've seen it perform better than, than BlueStacks and some other uh, Android uh, thing. So uh, we are going to do some farming, and I like this farming simulator. There are other simulators too, uh, but uh, yeah, this works well for me. So, and it's only 52 megs. So once we click on install, it will, do you want to install this app? Yes, obviously that is what we are here for. And click on open there. And look, just see how native it is. I mean, it's, it's like an app running on your Windows system and you just play or use whatever you want and you can even make it full screen. And you know, I've, I've been talking for so long and you know, I, I just want to do some farming there. So guys, please hang on with me and let me just push that tractor to the front and I'm not recording the audio, but yes, the audio is coming through as well. And I mean, just it's amazing. And I mean, if you're watching this far, I think you should subscribe to my channel to see more awesome videos like this. And basically, you will find more videos on my channel that works on um, uh, on, on virtualization but so and games. So. And see, another awesomeness is that the Aurora store will come up as a native app on your Windows menu. So see how cool is that? If we fire up the task manager, you see it's using 70% of my memory. No, that's not just the Windows system for Android. So it is just using 83 megs. So if I go up, you see there VMM WSA. What is that guys? I mean, have you ever think, thought, think about it? I mean, have you ever thought about it? That is virtual machine running in memory, Windows subsystem for Android. So, and if we right click and open the location, Microsoft did, <laughs> did show me the location where it was running. But if I come down and right, right click, I mean, click on the Windows subsystem for Android, one of them, and I want to see the location from where it is running. It is showing me the location. You see the GK server EXE is the Windows subsystem for Android. How cool is that? I mean, this, Okay, some more awesome awesomeness, guys. Remember we had installed the farming simulator. If we search on our Windows menu there, WSA, you see there all the apps related to Windows subsystem from Android are visible. WSA tools, farming simulator, Aurora store, Amazon app store. So farming simulator, just open it as a native application on Windows, play to your heart's content or any other app that you want. Another awesomeness, if you think you're bored with this game and you want to get rid of it or some app, just click on uninstall and click on uninstall and bam, it's gone. Why? You want to prove it? Search for WSA. See, it's no more there. How cool is that? I mean, really, really cool with, with 
WSL and WSA, Microsoft has done an amazing job. And I want to free up my memory. You see 70% of my memory is going on. If you want to free it up, open the settings and click on turn off. And you see on the right there, my memory is dropping, usage is dropping, and I'm back to 26%. So I don't need to keep it on all the time. And I don't need to, you know, block my, uh, block my system memory. How cool is that? I mean, with this, Microsoft has done an amazing, amazing job. I mean, really, really cool. Some more awesomeness, guys. And yes, we forgot that in all this thing, we can, again, go back to language and region and turn back from United States to wherever we are. And that's about it, guys. So thank you so much, guys. Take care. See you next time. Please write down in the comments below what game your app you installed and how it went. Thank you. Bye-bye.